First up, well, the wait is finally over. Pakistan has a prime ministerial candidate, one that has found consensus. After two weeks of deliberations and hectic parlays, Shabazz Sharif is the choice of the coalition of the PMLN and the PPP. The question now is, can he steer Pakistan to stability amid its economic chaos? It took 13 days and six rounds of hectic negotiations and back-channel communication for Pakistan to finally have a prime minister. The Pakistan Muslim League Nawaz's Shabazz Sharif is back in the driver's seat for a second time as prime minister. This will also be the third time the Pakistan Muslim League Nawaz and the Pakistan People's Party will form a coalition government since 2008 after the fall of the jailed former Prime Minister Imran Khan's government. Now, according to the coalition deal, the PPP co-chairman Asif Ali Zardari will be the next president. His son Bilawal Bhutto Zardari has however relinquished any ministerial role in the government, saying the party's electoral numbers did not give it the mandate to share the Prime Minister's post. Together with the People's Party, we have the required number and we are in the position to form a new government. So I thank President Zardari and Chairman Bhutto for their efforts and cooperation in this. But the Pakistan election had no clear winners to begin with. The independents backed by the Pakistan Tehri Kain Saab won the maximum number of seats. However, with no party symbol and their leader Imran Khan in jail, the PTI was unable to cobble up a coalition. The Pakistan Muslim League Nawaz trailed behind them with 75 seats, while the People's Party of Pakistan got 54 seats. Khan's party has claimed that the alliance between the PMLN and the PPP is a mandate of thieves. It is also alleged widespread vote rigging and fraud in the elections. We are here on a leader's call for countrywide protests. What has happened to us, what has happened to the nation of Pakistan is bigger than theft and robbery. In the February 2024 election, PTI won 200 plus seats with the majority during the day. But the results were changed overnight. We are here against the theft of our vote. After years of political turmoil, voters hoped that the February 2024 elections would bring stability. Till date, no Pakistani Prime Minister has completed a full five-year term. All eyes will be on whether that trend can be reversed this time around.